good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting me from welcome to our morning devotion in case you are new here just feel most welcome this is the right place to be happy new week my name is Delak Mom Deborah Anchoka and we do our morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. West African time so I've missed you so much it has been almost a week but uh, I'm back welcome to our morning devotion are you ready to lose your life for the sake of the gospel? That is our sharing today. And our key verse from the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 34 to 38. And we're going to sing hymn or song number 478. But before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. As we're going to do our morning devotion, we ask you to be with us, help us, and let it have a great impact unto our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So welcome and let's sing a uh, hymn song number 478 as we start our morning devotion. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bees me at my fire. The strong makes all my wants and wishes known. In seasons of distress and grief, my soul has often found relief and of escape the tempter snare by thy return, sweet tower of Pray on. Yeah, son is ready to lose his life for the sake of the gospel. Welcome. Uh, sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, thy will shall my petition bear to him. Most true and faithfulness engage the waiting so to bless and since he builds me seek his face believe his word and trust his grace I'll cast on him my every care and wait for this sweet hour of prayer Naomi, uh, bonjour, amen. Thanks for the prayers. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, may I thy consolation share till from Mount Peace, God's lofty high, I view my home and take my flight. In my immortal flesh shall rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air. Farewell, farewell, sweet hour of prayer. Mara Firis, thanks, his. You're welcome. Um, are you ready to lose the gospel for the sake of uh, your life for the sake of the gospel? That is our sharing. And it's from the book of Mark chapter 8, verse 34 to 38. It's, the subtopic is that you should uh, take up the cross and follow him. I'm going to read from my New King James Version, the Bible records. When he had called people to himself with his disciples, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. For what I will for what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will man give in exchange for his soul? Whoever is ashamed of me, my words in his, in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his uh, Father with whole angels. 
this is uh this is after jesus had predicted about his death and now he was just trying to do a summary he was just going to con he was just concluding uh his mission on earth because he was preparing for his death so when he looked around he found that people uh were were not ready to receive him because of the persecution uh christians were going through what uh people were decided to follow god were going through and they felt like they were living in fear like now we might not follow jesus because everybody's against him and maybe we are going to lose what we have already so he had already learned what is happening on the ground so he decided to give people an option like if you decide to follow me then be sure you're going to get eternal life but if you fear that in uh, if you follow me you are going to lose what you have then it means that you are not going on my you are going not going to be my son or you are not going to be uh, a child of god you are going to just uh, you only want to retain what you have because he saw the threats people were going through like if you decide to follow maybe jesus all your property will be taken away you will be killed so people lived in fear uh in accepting the gospel or just following the gospel so he came out clear and said if you really want to follow me you have to take up your cross and follow me you decide then he went further and said there's no profit what profit will a man gain if yes he, he gathers all the richness all the wealth in the world and then finally dies what what profit will he get if he gives his soul to the world he went further and promised like whoever who is going to follow me who is going to follow my, the desires uh my desires who is going to become my child i'm not going to leave them because uh god is going to bless them because he had sent me to save you so this is was the last one of the last statement that jesus made to his disciples and the people around him he decided to give them an option like you have to choose either you follow me then you save your soul when the end time comes when we are returning back with god so he was just giving them a clear explanation like you have to choose if you said to choose that i i am going to fear because i don't want to preach the gospel i don't want to be involved in anything concerning god because i'm going to lose what i have you know sometimes you can be given an option like if you decide like you have chosen that you want to rest be it on sunday be it on friday be it on saturday and then maybe you can get maybe your boss is saying if you are not ready to work for seven days of the week you're going to lose this job because we fear so much because this is what has been feeding you you feel like let god uh, be fast you just decide like let god be fast because even god is the one who created me he knows i don't have a job i need to feed my family so you work all the seven days you don't want to rest in eight of the days because you feel like your boss uh is putting pressure on you or because you need like you want enough money for your family you want something that will cater everything for your family so that they can live comfortable so you decide like no when it comes to the gospel i don't have time for the gospel god knows i'm his child and i have nothing and i'm working for it so because sometimes we just misinterpret the bible we say like god said he's going to help those people who help themselves so you decide to help yourself for seven days no resting because you are fearing of losing your job there is no profit of fearing to lose your job in this world if you decide like i want to take one day for my god he's going to bless you because he is ready for you you're not going to be fearing like if i do this that means you don't fear god so are you ready to lose your life for the sake of the gospel at least let's create a chance let's create a day for our god let's create some time for our god we just appreciate what he has done unto us and we just follow him because through his son our sins were forgiven so that means by his children he knows how we can survive if we decide like we want to follow him we want to spread the gospel of god this is the right way to follow without uh making a a time to be limited for him so this morning i just want to share with the lakmam family like you have a chance of deciding
from this last option of Jesus. He gave people the last option. You have to decide, are you going to follow me? Or you are going to follow the world because you want to retain your wealth? Are you going to follow me because oh, uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm the child of God and I've decided to show you the way? Or you want to retain your job because you don't want to lose it? There are some things you are fearing to lose in life because we feel like if we lose them, we are not going to live anymore. But we are wrong. It's because we have been, uh, we are, you are, we are spiritually blind. We feel like if this, if I'm not going to do the way this person is directing me, then it means I'm going to lose myself. I'm going to lose everything that I have. My kids will never eat. I'm not going to make an achievement if I don't listen to this person. We have turned people to be our gods, small gods. We just worship them. We just follow what they tell us because we are fearing of losing our jobs. And we feel like we, we, there is no another way. We can secure better jobs. Jeria, good morning and a blessed day from Manama Bahrain Kingdom all the way to my Kisi County. Thank you. Welcome, dear. So we have to decide. Are you going to follow Jesus' way? Are you going to have time with your God? Are you ready to lose your life for the gospel? Are you ready to lose your job for the sake of the gospel? Are you, are you ready to lose this person who is making your life miserable because you feel like if I lose this person, then it means I'm, I'm done. I just want to remind you this morning that there is one creator. There is a creator in heaven who created you and who knows that this is my child and this is what he or she wants. So for you is just to decide like, let me follow the gospel. Let me carry my cross and follow Jesus. Let me carry my cross. I will die alone because God is, will be there for me. You have to decide. So you, you have a chance of choosing from this option. Like, am I going to follow Jesus or just, I just retain my job because my boss is so strict on me. You, you, you need to decide. Work from the last option of Jesus. He decided to gather people and his disciples because he knew that he would, uh, his time would come to an end in the world. And he was just giving them an option like, make, what do you need to understand? There is no way, no profit a man can get. Even if you yes, yes, I've left you, you retain your wealth. There is nothing you are going to gain if your soul dies. But if your soul dies while you have followed the gospel and you know me, it means that I'll be there for you in the next coming. So it's for you to decide, like, am I going to follow Jesus? Am I ready to do this? Do something that pleases God. Don't please man because you feel like maybe you, you are not going to gain what you have been gaining before. So this morning, I just want to give, uh, to send positive energy to each and every one of us watching. Have in mind, like, God is the only way. Jesus gave, showed us the way, yes. But we have to choose. Are you ready to lose your life for the sake of the gospel? So if you are ready, God is going to add the rest that you need unto you. You have to choose first. Am I ready? Then if you are ready, he will be there for you. So thank you so much for watching our morning devotion. Uh, and hey, happy new week. Let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing we have had this morning. That we have an option of choosing the gospel over the world the things father we pray that to help us guide us to the right direction so that we can make a good decision from the last option of jesus here on earth father we pray for the sick in various homes and hostels we pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name lord we pray for our brothers and sisters working in diaspora gulf countries you know what they go through each and every day we pray that you protect them guide them so that they can meet their, with their families and celebrate once more father we pray for our children, wherever they are. We pray that you cover them with the blood of Jesus, guide them, let them understand that they are the only God who needs to be washed, Father. We remember the bereaved families. We pray that you comfort them as they are in their time of sorrow, Father. We also pray for the lack mom family. We pray that you continue blessing us, guide us. The work uh, ahead of us is not easy, but we pray that you continue guiding us and leading us to the right direction, Father. The activities of the day, we dedicate them unto your able hand, Father. We remember orphans, widows, and widowers, wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them their daily needs as you promised to be their father. In a special way, we remember prisoners. 
we pray that once more you give them their freedom and show them that there is light at the end of the tunnel let them turn back to you because you also saved uh, Saul and he became Paul you can also save the prisoners who have decided to reform God we also pray for the Kenyan government we pray that you give them the wisdom that you gave King Solomon so that they can lead your people to the right direction Father whatever we didn't pray we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that he can intercede for us in Jesus name we pray and believe Amen. So thank you so much. See you tomorrow.